Number 11. Find the components of V total along the X and Y axes in figure 3.55. All right, so those of you who watched my prior video on number 10, uh, we already covered this actually because we needed to know this in order to find the uh, components of VA and VB. Although there are other ways to do that, uh, I chose that method. So uh, this should be relatively straightforward. So I need to find the components of this vector. So take a look at the picture in the upper right. I need to find the components of that vector. Okay, so that vector can be broken down into an X component here. I'll label that X. And then it could also be broken down into a Y component right there. I'll label that Y. They're both in the positive directions, so they're both going to be positive. So now how do I find X and Y? Well, they told me that the hypotenuse here is 6.72. And if you think about it, they gave you two angles in here. They gave you 26 and a half and they gave you the 22.5. So what would be the measure then of this whole angle in here? Right, it would just be the addition of those two, right? So let's just simply draw a quick picture down here just so we can avoid all the mess. That's good enough. This is 6.72. This angle now will be the, the addition of 26 and a half plus 22 and a half. So do that in the calculator should come out to be 49. So now I need to solve for X, and then I need to solve for my positive Y. Let's first look at X. In order to solve for this, I know the hypotenuse, an angle, and I need to find the adjacent side. Therefore, I'm using cosine. Okay, so cosine of 49. 49 is equal to the positive X component over the hypotenuse of 6.72. Simply take out the calculator and do cosine of 49 times 6.72. So we've got 4.41. So 4.41, and that's in meters. Great, and now let's do Y. So take a look at the picture again. So we have, here's the Y component. I know the hypotenuse. I know the angle opposite of the uh, side of interest. Therefore, I'm going to use, oops, back went back one too many. Therefore, I'm going to use sine. So we have sine of theta is equal to the opposite side of the hypotenuse. Sine of 49 is equal to positive Y component over 6.72. Simply do your cross multiplication. So sine of 49 times 6 point, times 6.72. And that works out to be 5.07. 5.07. And that's meters. And that would be it. Those would be the X and Y components of the total vector. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.